geez, I look great. Um, we've been cleaning all day, so that's why I look very frizzy. Um, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the nursery because I, I wasn't, I wanted to give you guys a proper tour, but we might not be here for very long once Bubba is actually here because we're moving house come the 1st of July, hopefully, fingers crossed. So Bubba might not even be here by then. I can go that far overdue. And I've packed half the nursery up already. So I'm going to give you a tour of what there is. Like, it, it might not be functional, but this is what it is, this is what we've got, this is what's not packed. And I'll give you a quick tour, I've said that a lot of times now. Anyway, first of all, I've got this thing, which is just an Ikea thing. And this bag is not meant to be here, I just, oh goodness, that went well. I just, it's got stuff in it that I need to unpack. So I've already ruined my whole plan of doing this properly before I put crap in here. But anyway, um, this is our IKEA stuff. Majority of the drawers are empty. I had to actually go to one that was empty because these two are not. In his hospital bag, I have an absolute minimum, I think. Like I just have one outfit. So if for some reason we're staying in the hospital longer, I've basically just got extra stuff in here. So this is four zero and this is three zero. I've got like an extra blanket, a sleeping bag, and then a jumper in each, um, and then a couple of little outfits. So those are just there so that whoever runs home to get them know like they're already organized and can just be chucked in a bag. What else have we got? That's just a blanket for my nursing chair. That's just some spare bits and pieces. Um, I don't know what's in those two. Empty. Ah, oh, that's just all my um, knitting stuff. I was meant to have a whole blanket knitted, but that failed. Um, so yeah, that's what's in there. Obviously, there's usually more in there, but I've emptied them all out and put them all in boxes so that we can move. I am really breathless. Whew. Um, we have this little corner thing, his money box, his elephant that is really cute, I'll show you that in a second, and just this little thing that I've had for ages. Um, this is his elephant, Ooh, and I'm down, which is actually adorable. My grandma got it for me. Um, I saw it in Baby Bunting, but she got it off Facebook Marketplace, I'm pretty sure. That can just do that in the background. <laughs> oh, <Love you. laughs> so cute. I'm gonna be so sick of it. I'm already sick of it. You done? I'm not making it sing. You guys can. No, that's not happening. And then we've just got his bath stuff. I just chucked that on top today because I just washed it. Um, but towels, um, little what are these called? Sorry. Towels, flannels, this is just face cloths and wipes and all sorts of different things. That's a little thing grandma got from, I can't remember where, but it was somewhere between Hyden and Perth. <laughs> so somewhere in the middle of Western Australia. Um, I will try to find out. And then we've just got like this little first aid kit that has like baby Panadol and the nose thingies. Yep, that's my knowledge. Saline solution. Stuff like that. <laughs> then we got a whole bunch of rubber duckies because I used to collect those. So we got heaps. All the actual duckies are on the bottom, but we've been given fish and like trucks and stuff as well. I think the trucks are in there. My frogs. Um... Uh, just baby shampoo. Uh, is that shampoo? No, that's just a gentle baby wash. Damn it, regretting that. There we go. And this is just a little teddy flannel thing. What's this? Ah, oh, just more bath wash. This is all the fancy brand that Grandma got, I think. Um, that is like super 
dermatologically safe. Um, whew, really breathless. One second. Here we've got his, my, his, mine, I don't know, the nappy bag. Um, it's all packed up for the hospital, so it's got all the extra stuff we need if we're not leaving the hospital immediately. Um, obviously it's not my hospital bag, it's just got like heaps of extras in it, so pretty much just nappies, change mat, wipes, I don't even know what that is. Oh, just an extra blanket and that's pretty much it. Nappy bags, Johnson's baby stuff. Can't zip it up now, damn it. Okay, I'll zip that up later. Um, okay, then we go into this part of the room. Um, I'll start. This is a washing basket. <laughs> Very interesting. It's actually full of stuff that we got from the baby shower. Like, this is entirely full of baby shower gifts. Um, because I haven't washed them yet. So, they've got to get washed. Behind here, we have um, newborn nappies and a box of like the next size up nappies and way back there this thing oh is his bassinet sleeper bed thing that we're gonna have beside our bed um i just haven't put it together yet because it takes like two seconds hopefully and then we have his change table so we sort of failed this mat thing luke was meant to measure it all the way to here he failed miserably and when I got it home it was like this much short so I cut it even shorter so we could fit this next to it um, and at the moment it's just covered with um, well uh, this blanket obviously this like felty blanket and underneath is a mattress protector a waterproof baby mattress protector just so the foam underneath stays good um, it's literally just a piece of foam from Clark Rubber so that's our change table, it's beautiful. It fits what we need pretty well, so I'm happy with it. This is our white warmer. This is our little caddy that we can actually like lift up and move around the house, which is what I really wanted. I painted it myself. Um, it's just got a couple of beanies, pretty much all his beanies actually. Um, this is just like pseudo cream, paint, paintbrush. Pseudo cream, hairbrush, comb, the pants and all those little bits and pieces. Wait, this is pseudo cream. What's that? Uh, I don't. I don't even know what that is. I think it's just like a moisturizer. Um, these things, wipes, nappy bags. Um, so yeah, then we've got this change table, which was actually um, handed down to my mum from one of her friends, I think, or possibly one of my grandma's friends. And it was my change table and then my sister's change table and now it's going to be Hayden's change table. So it's been it's been through a lot of people. Also apparently Luke's mum used this exact same change table on Luke. So this thing is pretty amazing. Um, it's missing a drawer. We are getting the drawer fixed. We will have the drawer eventually but for now it's just missing a drawer. The cat's like hiding under there anyway. Um, I'll go through here just because this is not packed properly. This usually has proper stuff in it but at the moment stuff has just been chucked in there but there's a little play mat thing the actual mat isn't there but the thing that goes over the top is a couple of toys for the car, uh, car seat or the pram whatever um I'm gonna get down oh 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 okay I'm down um this is the mobile oh gosh one second that went well that went terribly actually this is a mobile that I made him um, it was hanging up but as you can see from how bedraggled it is and the fact that stuff is falling off it the cats got to it so it is no longer hanging up and it can wait until we can lock the cats out because I'm devastated that they destroyed it like it took a lot of effort to make um, this is a change mat cover but obviously it doesn't fit on our custom change mat. I was going to get just a normal change mat because we got given this. Um, but when I was at the shop, I didn't know what size this one actually fits. So I wasn't going to go buy a change mat just 
to fit this and then get the wrong size. But I'm thinking I will still get a change mat to fit this size um, because I feel like it's something really handy to have a smaller one that we can just move around the house and use wherever. And that's his bottle set which has, oh no, is it? Wait, what? Why has it got? Oh, okay. Sorry, I just saw pumps on the side and I was like, this isn't his pump set. But yeah, anyway, um, that's just like extra products. Okay, so that's his Tommy Tippy bottle set. What has it got in it? It's got a whole bunch of things in it, yeah. So it's got um, a bottle warmer, a little bottle carrier that keeps the bottles warm, hopefully, or cold, a dummy, a couple of different size bottles, a... I have vaporizer in my head. The sanitizing thing. Yep, that made sense. I hope you know what that means. It just cleans the bottles, sort of disinfects them in a, in a way. And then bottle brushes and stuff like that. So it's just like a little pack that has a whole bunch of different stuff in it. Um, ugh, put them back up there. And then this that was next to it is his... Luke's mum gave this to us, but I saw it in either Reject Shop or Red Dot. I think it was Red Dot. Well, I saw a smaller version that was the exact same, so I assume that's where she got it from. But it's just a little Paw Patrol box. Um, and it's got all the newborn toys that he can have from zero months or from, like, the three, month, the three plus month ones that are, like, pretty safe. So I've just chucked all those in here since they'll be the first toys he's allowed to use. Um, but they're chucked away because it's not as if he's going to use them straight away anyway. Um, so let me put this back. Ooh. So that's what's in there. Obviously it's not going to stay like that. That's just what's in there at the moment. Um, in here we have, what is this? Ah, we have a thermometer. That's just in here because I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> and then we have a whole bunch of spare swaddles. That's pretty much it. <laughs> in here we have more spare swaddles. Oh, okay, I need to stand up one second. In here we have more swaddles. I took some out to take to the hospital. We have leggings and we have tracky pants or like thicker pants. We have some nappies at the back as well. Um, I really like this swaddle, it's really soft. And then in here we have, oh crap, one second. I just dropped the drawer, great start. In here, I'm not going to pull it out that far this time. <laughs> we have all the so all the shoes and um, a couple of mittens. I did not know those were in there, so I'm going to put some of those in his hospital bag, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got some really cute shoes. I love it, these shoes. Um, why do I feel like we've been given two? Oh no, they're different. And then these ones are like sock shoes for when he's tiny. We have all his bibs, we have all his singlets, um, and we have all his socks. He has a lot of socks. That is a genetic thing. I have a lot of socks. We just love socks. My hospital bag. Yep, that's it. And then his cot, which obviously um, I painted as well. The mattress still has the cover on it because like, he's not going to sleep in here for a while. He's going to be in the bassinet. Um, I did have like a fitted sheet down and he will likely sleep in here a couple of times when he's a baby or like occasionally but for now we're not really using it so it's just staying like that. That box is empty so far. This box has, oh goodness I didn't want to open it but whatever. This box has spare blankies in it. Um, a lot of stuff is packed up so... And then in here is just a pack of nappy, um, well actually a pack of packs of nappy bags um, and then spare wipes. Huggies is what Luke's mum gives us. These ones are like the fancy ones that grandma found that are like super duper sensitive and hyperallergenic and all that lot because I have skin problems so she tried to find those for me um, which was really really nice. She thought I needed those, but um, so far I've been alright with wipes. I haven't tried the Huggies yet, but so far wipes haven't really set off my skin allergies. And then here 
from the floor angle because I'm lazy we have his clothes um, minus a lot of them because actually not that many just like a couple of outfits of each size because obviously I've put some in his hospital bag and in those drawers so this is long onesies this is jumpers and then these are short onesies and shirts and long sleeve but short bottom onesies sorry I just realized I wasn't pointing whatsoever but anyway um so these labels are wrong but I haven't finished doing them I was going to decorate them properly anyway this side's not done they're just a piece of cardboard at the moment but yeah so this is five zero stuff it's so cute this is four zero stuff and then this is his three zero stuff these things kisses for mummy from I think best and less he has so many of those everyone has gotten me one and Luke's family has even gotten me two a couple of patch somewhere and one of them's even being used to wrap something delicate from his nursery can't remember what it was but yeah and then we've got some jumpers most of the jumpers are way too big for him they're cute yes I'm really breathless oh, what are you doing? I'm almost done I just gotta do this um and then we have Luke um <laughs> so then we have the short stuff which is like long sleeve short onesies short onesies and t-shirts um, which obviously goes three, ah, oh, three zero, five zero, four zero, three zero. Obviously, more of the fours and threes than the fives. That's just my robe. And then we have sleeping bags on the end. And that is literally it. We also had this set up on here, but I took it to the photo shoot to use for our photos that we got done that we don't have yet. Um, and now it's going to go away because I need to pack stuff. <laughs> but that was cute when it was set up properly. Really? Look how cute these are. Oh gosh, I'm dropping them everywhere. Let's put them away. I mean, how cute are these? I know. And I have one that looks like that one. Oh, yeah. Which one was your favourite? The camo? Yeah. So these are four zeros? No, these are three zeros. Oh, yeah. You read it from this way, I just haven't decorated the right side yet. So you read it from this direction. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I just so haven't decorated. I haven't finished decorating it, so I've just like sketched those on. Yeah. yeah. These ones are really soft. This was before we knew what colour what colour what gender, he, what gender was. he was. And I still think it's fairly it's, neutral. it's fairly neutral, yeah. Oh, I'm getting kicked. Obviously, these are my favourite because they're flannels. I sort of like the ones that feel good more than the ones that look this good. This one looks like one that I have, actually. I sort of like the plain t-shirt ones like this. This one feels nice too. See, I like that one. <laughs> All my absolute favourites, obviously, in the hospital bag is his going home outfit. I like this one. I like this jumper. It's really fluffy. Okay, let's go. I'm tired. My back is killing me. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, hit subscribe. Thank you.